everybody welcome or welcome back to it's beyond g where we vlog family food and travel tv if this is your first time here we welcome you to the channel and if you are returning hey g team happy new year merry christmas happy kwanzaa all of that good stuff i hope the lord blesses you abundantly more than you have room enough to receive in the new year and beyond we're doing sort of a day in the life it was going to be like a self-maintenance, self-care, or a date day, date myself day. But I said, you know what? I don't know. Let's just do a day in the life. We're here right now at Dollar General, regular people's activities. I'm about to go in and hit up their sales. They have um, Dr. Pepper. That's three for 10. I'm going to pick that up for Jay. That's his favorite pop. We usually don't buy pop, but we love a good sale. And some meals, they don't hit right unless you have a good pop to follow up, right? After that, I need to vacuum out this filthy car. Well, I won't say filthy, but my floors, embarrassing. I'll show you those in just a second. And we have some new floor mats to put down. One of our Christmas presents received. I want to go see Color Purple later on. I don't know, but I want you all to hang with me. So sit back. Relax, grand um, yeah, let's enjoy the day together. So these right now are three for ten. We got the goods. You can't beat that. Three cases of pop for eleven dollars. While I'm back here, let me show you how this floor. Oh we gotta do better in 2024. Real life. So it was on promotion, three for fifteen. You see, seven ninety five each. Eight eighty five was the weekly discount. The three for fifteen promotion. We had a four dollar digital coupon that we also had available. Eighty six cents in tax. We paid eleven eighty six. That's a deal, y'all. For some soda, thirty six cans. On to the next. Yeah, we made it to the car wash. It's so loud. Somebody's blasting our music. Y'all remember when the car wash used to take coins? Used to dig in your car for coins. Now you gotta swipe. came over to my car to ask me if I had changed four or five then proceeded to ask me if I was married talking about you got on a you got a pretty ring I said I can't hear you your ring pretty you married boy bad I'm trying to clean my car so I did the best that I could do I'm about to show y'all and put down the new mats these are the new mats I'm gonna put down their rubber I don't know if I should put them over the Canvas mat or what? The new mats look so so much better. Good afternoon, welcome to Donald CB. Is your mobile app today? Um, no, ma'am. How can I help you? Yes, can I have a medium caramel frappe? Man, I'm sorry, we're out of caramel at the moment. All I have is mocha. She's like one of those. Okay, no thank you. Y'all know I'm salty, right? Salty. I did not get my caramel frappe from McDonald's. I pulled up. I asked, could I have a caramel frappe medium? She said they didn't have any more caramel and offered me mocha. I don't want mocha. You know, when you have your mind set on a particular flavor, that's what you want. Nothing else is going to suffice. 
I said, no thanks, pull it off and I'm back at home. I've been here for a little minute. I started putting up some more Christmas stuff. We are almost finished. Jay is literally taping up the box and taking it to storage. So that is good. This is where the tree was. Now all that space is empty. It feels so different over here. Now I'm like, what do we do? Well, really it was nothing over there except a plant. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that corner, but I'm gonna help him to finish it on up. We're getting everything done, clean, reset, organized. We have Goodwill trips and Leo just got a bath. Praise God, cause the Frito smell, the Frito smell, if you have a dog, you know, you know. Oh my goodness, who wants them? I'm going to attempt to eat something from the house and look up the movie times for Color Purple. I'm pretty much going to go by myself. If they want to go, they'll probably be in another theater watching something else that starts around the time my movie starts. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to get into, but I want to see Color Purple. We'll see. We'll see. I need to get up right now before I fall asleep. Hi, right, sir. Hi, Boo Boo. Leo. Say hi. Who you waiting on? I love you, Leo. I love you, Leo. Yeah, I don't know. He think he is my he's my daddy. He's guarding. I don't know why. He's so overprotective. I'm laying right here on the couch, and he's looking out like something's going on. Sir, Leo. Give me a kiss. Kiss. I love you. Give me a kiss. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's such a... Oh, he kissed y'all too. He kissed y'all too. Hey, y'all. It's another day. I did not go see Color Purple yesterday. Hopefully, today will be the day. In the meantime, and in between time, I am making this Mississippi pot roast because I finished watching Queen's vlog. And now, both she and Mrs. Burger had me wanting to try this. Now, I usually make my pot roast with like a lifted onion soup mix, some broth, and my own little seasonings. But I'm trying this Mississippi pot roast because I've been hearing good things about it. So we'll see how this turns out. Let me grab me some butter. We're gonna put this on high and cook it for about six hours. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. It's 12.30, we'll check on it at 6.30. Look at that. I just wanna say that this was so good. Shout out to Queen for the idea. My last one, y'all. My last one until February 1st. Today is December 31st. Happy New Year's Eve. Hopefully we can get one. Thank you for choosing McDonald's first name. Would you be using your mobile app today? No. All right, how can I help you? I just need a medium um, caramel frappe, please. Go ahead and come on down. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's been a couple weeks since I've had one. And since we're doing our healthy January, no meats, no sweets, no dairy. Um, this is one thing I know I'm going to miss for sure. And I'm just going to have it. I need to have it. <laughs> you don't know how much I enjoy sipping on this drink here when we get back home we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about our goals our youtube goals our personal goals and our new word of the year i'm going to share with you what tools i'll be using and you know just getting our mindset together i feel like 2023 was an okay year um 2024 i'm still like it's still me Okay, thank you. Just come down when you can. Okay. I don't know how they machines work, but... This Shay, he's helping me put up. He's helping me put up the groceries. Not for me. I can't stand stuff batch cookies. Love them. What do we get? We got orange juice. 
He's wiping down the groceries. We still do wipe down groceries. Um, I don't think we'll ever stop that after, you know, the epidemic, pandemic. Good morning. So I was, <laughs> I don't know. What was you doing? I don't know if I'm sleepy or what's going on. I was in the car and I was sipping on my caramel frappe. I told G team, I said, this is my last frappe for the month of January. I told them when I got home, I was gonna sit down and discuss um, just 2024, my goals, things like that, how I don't do vision boards anymore. I've not done vision boards for a few years just because I don't work well under pressure. Now, if it's something I have to do, I'll get it done, of course. But if it's something that is leisure and I have a choice in it and I set the goal for myself, I'm more than likely not going to succeed in that because I just don't work good under leisurely pressure. And I hope that makes sense. Does that, does that make sense to you? Like if it's something I'm setting for myself, I always tend to disappoint myself when I have a choice in the matter. All right. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, do I sound like I'm making sense though? Seriously. Let's say, let's say for example, let's say I want to lose 10 pounds in the month of January. I can't have any meats, any sweets, any dairy. I have to work out six times a week and blah, 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 blah. Right then and there, it sounds good. But by day three, I've chosen not to do one, two, or three of those activities is what I'm saying. And the reason I've chosen not to do them is because I didn't, I don't really have to, or I feel like there's some justification I've made so that I don't fulfill them. And I don't want to go into 2024 like that. What I want to focus on is setting reachable, practical goals for myself. I don't want it to just be a yearly change. I want it to be attainable goals that I can implement into my lifestyle. So if I set a goal for myself, I want to lose five pounds in January, I need to leave it at that for myself. I mean, that works best for me. I want to lose five pounds. Now I know in my mind, why are you leaving me? Hmm? Don't leave me, cause I'm kind of talking to you too. Oh, my bad. But I'll, I'll are you gonna help me put this stuff up? I mean, I, I, oh, let me let me show y'all what we so, picked up. Wait, 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 wait. So I wiped everything out, set aside everything for you. But who went to the grocery store? I mean, yes, I appreciate it. I, I'm just trying to get the instructions right. Don't start no mess. Won't be no mess. All right, all right. Well, I'll just no, listen. but I, I did say that. I said, babe, can you <laughs> come here? I said, babe, can you? I said, babe, can you wipe down groceries for me? And he did. So thank you. You're welcome. And I wanted to show GT the haul. So if I show them the haul really quick, then can you put them up for me? Yes. Thank you. See, I'm effectively communicating, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because I assumed he was going to do all of that. And had he done that, I would have been kind of, you know, irritated because I wanted to show you all the, the haul, right? So there you go. Coming up on how many years? Married. Ooh, 14. Going on 15. I was about to say, you better not say 14. So it'll be 15 years, May 2024. So this has been sponsored by Black Love. <laughs> You're so silly. But what I'm trying to tell our family is I want to set goals, of course. I don't want to do vision boards because when you look back at the vision boards at the end of the year, it's so disappointing to me. To me, I don't I don't want to do that to myself. 2024, I'm going to go in with a prayer that is, of course, going to be amazing. I'm claiming amazing and that each day will be better than the day before, period. Now, I do have personal, physical, mental, spiritual goals that I am going to set, but I'm not. It's going to be no pressure. No pressure. I'll be sharing some of those goals with you later. To be honest, I don't have them all. I've been thinking about them, but I do want to write them down. I do believe in the power of writing them down and speaking them. And if we complete them, we do. If we don't, we don't. We just, we're just going to keep on trying. But I wanted to tell you all. Oh, my face melting. 
<laughs> so it is i have to enjoy this now this is a small goal i said i'm not going to have any more five pace for january and i'm not because well next year will you be trying to find your full of law 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 if you have if you haven't seen that vlog I'm gonna put it in the description. Go check that out, y'all. Nobody had to follow la 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 drink. <laughs> but this is real talk. I was in the car sipping my frappe. Guess what came on? I believe I can fly. When I say I was bawling, I said. I used to think that I could not go on. I was right. I mean, I didn't used to think that, but the song hits differently. Like, let's separate R. Kelly. <laughs> what? I, I'm saying. I was surprised they even played R. Kelly. I was, I was shocked. So I'm like, <laughs> I haven't heard this song in years, in years, and they played this. Um, if I can dream it, I think those are the words. If I can do it, if I just believe it, and then I can achieve it, I believe I can fly, I believe I can touch the sky. It just resonated, it hit differently. <laughs> Y'all know every graduation played that song. Lord. That and what else? The Mariah Carey? Mariah, yeah, what was Mariah the hero? There's a hero. Hero and hey, bro. I believe I can fly and war out the 90s. Y'all. Every graduation in the 90s. Every graduation. I was just, I don't know. You. It's just like when you read, if you're into the word and you read the word and you go over a scripture that you haven't read in a long time or heard in a long time and it hits your spirit differently. That's that's what the song did. And I always got a song in my heart. Y'all know I'm always singing to y'all. And it just hit my soul different. It's like I believe I can do whatever I set my mind to. I believe it. But that's enough of me in here just <laughs> He's still trying to leave me. Is it a football game, bro? No, I'm just no. I gotta... I got laundry going, oh. and then the food getting Look warm. Look at you, husband. And you know, the food getting warm, too, oh. so you know. Yeah, let me show you all the, we just did a mini haul because we're going to make meatloaf, no, we're not, because we're going <laughs> to, we're going to make turkey meatballs, we're going to do sub sandwiches, like the Jimmy John version, and we don't eat Jimmy John, <laughs> the Jersey Mike, Jersey let's Mike's. correct that. This is a Jersey Mike's household. So we're going to do the uh, Mike's way number seven. And then we're going to do um, wings. We're going to do some wings. That's what we're going to have for New Year's Eve. Let me show y'all. Some green grapes. The cuties. These cuties are hard to find in the wintertime. They got poppies and all these other brands I've never heard of. We got bananas. Pulp free orange juice. We have two packs of chicken. I'll section them, clean them myself. We have for our Jimmy John's. Why do I keep saying Jimmy John's? For the Jersey Mike's, we have honey roasted turkey breast, chicken breast, and honey ham. Also, we're gonna be last time for the ham. Two of the Subway breads. These are so good from Walmart. They're freshly made every day. We have a uh, Kobe pepper jack for the sandwiches, also American. I have Kobe Jack. This is the spicy garlic sauce from Kroger. If you know, you know it's good. I have um, butter. I had leftover um, fruit mix. I'm going to be doing a dump cake. Of course, shredded iceberg lettuce, tomatoes. I saw this in the store. I'm like, oh, these look good. Never had homemade hush puppies in my life, but it said just add milk and water. And I do like Martha's. I might try these with a, a meal later on. Dukes, the best mayo ever. Save the Hellman's talk. We have um, Chips Ahoy Chewy for my daughter. Picked up some 2024 headbands. It's a four pack. I know Jay's not going to wear them. I have collard greens because I'm not picking any greens. I don't really have a taste for greens. So we're going to have these with our black eyed peas. I'm not soaking no peas either. So here's what it's going to be. They don't even eat those in the house. I just eat them by myself. This book right here I purchased about three or four years ago from Amazon. 
and I purchased it while I was looking for another yearly calendar. You all know I look for a yearly calendar planner every year and I like to have a Bible study guidebook as well. I received it in the mail. I never opened it, never used it. Still, still brand new. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I was scrolling on TikTok. Apparently this book is trending right now. Bible in 52 weeks for, it's a study guide for women. And um, I'm sorry, we were, we were finished with church. We had church online today and they're downstairs watching the baptisms, the live baptisms. I'm upstairs now, but I wanted to show you all this book. And I'm like, I have that book. So I pulled this out and instead of letting it go to waste, I'm gonna actually be doing this for 2024. Bible in 52 weeks, if you're interested, it is by Dr. Kimberly Moore. Again, I did get this from Amazon. I'm like, maybe we can get like a small little Bible study portion going on in the weekly vlogs. If that's something you're into, let me know. But I will be personally implementing this in the new year to come. They have different Bible study passages like bearing burdens and your daily readings for the week. And then, of course, they give you some personal information and breakdowns of it. And then in each passage, there are points to ponder where you'll write in. So I think this will be something nice going forward for me to um, go throughout the year. So let me know if you get it, if you're interested in it, if you have it. I'm sure if you have it, you can redo it. Uh, reuse, reduce, recycle. But I just wanted to show you all that. And then behind me right here, this is the wall I was telling you all. The wall that I just pull off my little goals. Well, I don't want to say little goals because anything accomplished is huge. So this is the wall where I pull off as I complete or accomplish a goal, right? I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. It's quite lengthy and according to the algorithm, the, the math ain't math and you all like four minute videos according to the algorithm if you've made it this far though go ahead and drop uh fireworks in the comments shout out to everybody who continuously and genuinely supports the channel we appreciate you very very much wishing you a prosperous healthy enlargement of territorial year a year that God will bless you abundantly. A year where you won't have room enough to receive blessings. Signing off with a happy new year to you and yours. Be blessed and be safe. See you in the next one. Bye.